Adobe Premiere Pro has been the gold standard in video editing for years. But with that status comes a hefty price tag, not to mention the occasional lag, bugs and those subscription renewal reminders that just keep coming. Meanwhile, DaVinci Resolve, a free to download editing program has been quietly gaining popularity. But here's the big question on everyone's mind. Is the free version of DaVinci Resolve actually good enough to replace Premiere Pro? DaVinci Resolve is maybe a bit younger, but it has a fascinating origin story of its own. Developed initially for high-end color grading, Resolve quickly gained traction among filmmakers and colorists. Fast forward a few years and Resolve has evolved into an all-in-one editing solution. Blackmagic Design, the company behind Resolve made a bold move by offering a powerful free version, giving users professional-level editing tools without the ongoing costs. So with Premiere's Pro subscription model on one side and Resolve's free version on the other, it's no surprise that many video editors are considering the switch. But are you actually sacrificing any essential features by choosing free over paid? See, when it comes to core editing tools, both Resolve and Premiere cover the basics like cutting, trimming or layering clips. Resolve's interface may look different, but it's designed with a familiar editor-friendly layout. Plus, Resolve's keyboard shortcut can be customized to match Premiere's, making it easier for Adobe users to adapt. One unique feature Resolve offers is its cut page, designed specifically for speed. It's a streamlined timeline ideal for quick edits, particularly for content creators who need to push out videos fast. Premiere doesn't have an exact equivalent, but its overall flexibility and integration with Adobe's other applications offer advanced editing possibilities for those who need them. Now, here's where things start to get interesting. Originally developed as a color grading program, Resolve's color tools are unrivaled in the industry, even in the free version. You get access to advanced features like primary and secondary adjustments, powerful color wheels and node-based workflows that are rare to find in free software. With Premiere, you get Lumetri Color, which doesn't quite offer the same depth as Resolve's color tools. Lumetri is great for straightforward adjustments and color correction. But when it comes to detailed grading and creating complex looks, DaVinci Resolve takes the lead. It's no wonder why many editors color grade in Resolve even if they edit elsewhere. When it comes to editing audio, Resolve offers its Fairlight audio panel, which includes some impressive audio capabilities like multi-track mixing, real-time equalization, reverb and full surround sound capabilities even in the free version. Fairlight is built for both beginners and pros so you can adjust audio levels, remove noise and add effects all within the same interface. But in Premiere, you'd have to rely on Adobe Audition if you want to do any real audio mixing. It's fantastic for serious audio editing, but it does come as a separate program, which means extra cost and switching back and forth between Premiere and Audition. Now, when it comes to motion graphics and visual effects, Premiere Pro users often turn to After Effects, which is super powerful, but again requires extra software and a steeper learning curve. In Resolve, Fusion handles your visual effects and motion graphics. It's integrated directly into the program, so there's no need to leave Resolve to add effects, titles, or animations. Fusion may not have as many pre-built templates and plugins as After Effects, but it does give you the flexibility to create custom effects without spending a penny. So for those who are into creating motion graphics and don't want that added cost, Fusion in DaVinci Resolve might be all you need. Finally, when it comes to export and file handling, Resolve's free version gives you plenty of options, though with some limitations compared to the paid studio version. You can export in a variety of common formats and resolutions up to 4K. Premiere Pro's export capabilities, however, support more codecs and custom settings, making it a bit more versatile for certain workflows. If you are working with standard formats for YouTube or other platform, Resolve's free version should have you covered. But for editors who need more flexibility with formats and codecs, Premiere Pro might still have the edge. Now, before we make any final calls, it's important to be honest about the limitations of DaVinci Resolve's free version. After all, there's a reason Blackmagic Design offers a paid studio version. So what exactly are you missing out on by going free? First is GPU acceleration. In the free version of DaVinci Resolve, 
GPU acceleration is somewhat limited, which means that on heavier projects, your renders, playback and some effects may run slower compared to the studio version. For basic editing, this might not be an issue, but if you are working with high resolution footage or complex timelines, this could be a noticeable drawback. Another restriction in the free version is the resolution cap. While you can work in 4K, exporting in the resolutions above that requires the studio upgrade. If you are creating content for YouTube or standard viewing, this limit won't hold you back. Resolve also restricts some advanced effects and tools to the studio version. You'll find things like noise reduction, lens correction and specific filters unavailable in the free version. These may not be essential for every editor, but they are valuable tools for high-end projects. Lastly, if you are interested in working with HDR, 3D or certain professional codecs, you'll find those features only in the studio version. For the majority of content creators, these might not be deal breakers. But if you are in professional post-production, they can be essential. So after all of that, we come back to the question, is DaVinci Resolve's free version powerful enough to replace Premiere Pro? Well, the answer is yes and no. If you are a content creator on a budget or a beginner looking to jump into video editing without the weight of subscription fees, DaVinci Resolve's free version is a great choice. You'll get high quality tools for editing, color grading, audio mixing, motion graphics and VFX all in one program with zero cost. It's more than enough for anyone working on YouTube videos, social media content or short films. But if you are a professional editor working in high resolution formats with complex effects or need advanced GPU acceleration, the limitations in Resolve's free version may impact your workflow. In the end, the choice depends on your editing needs budgets and the level of professional output required. The good news is that you don't have to decide just yet. Download Resolve's free version and give it a try alongside Premiere Pro to see what works best for you. And before you decide to make the switch, here's a video you should check out where I'll share 5 reasons not to switch from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve. It covers a few things that might make you think twice before making that final call.